pig in a poke. So, this is the game show. This is the one where we want to be pigs. So that means we're going to go for everything at the end of this one. Uh, how this workout flows, we've got a 20 minute EMOM. So, we have minute one and minute two are a prescribed number of reps. So there's going to be ample rest time in this. And then minute number three is going to be max uh, rep double unders or single unders. So just so we know how that one flows. Okay. Our first movement, minute number one, we want a challenging weight. We want to grab our heavy dumbbell. Okay. And if it's not really that heavy and it's really light, maybe we want to bump it up from 20 to 25 reps. But 20 reps, if we're doing proper swings, probably going to take about 40 seconds. Okay. So when we're here, right, we're hip hinging and those forearms are by our ears, right? And we're squeezing those glutes at the top. What we don't want is we don't want this to be a knee, okay? This is a hip hinge. So posterior chain is what we're looking to work there. We want those forearms up by our ears near the top of that rack because these are a full dumbbell swing. If I wanted Russian, Russian would be here, but these are a full swing, right? And we're doing 20 reps. Okay, once you've done those, get down and get on the ground, and we're getting ready to go for minute number two. Okay, minute number two, we are doing max, probably we are doing 16 alternating leg V ups. So those toes are pointed. We're snapping those legs, we're driving that core into the ground for 16 reps. If we need to bend, we're still coming up off the ground, right? Just because we're bending our knee doesn't mean we stay back here, right? We are still looking to get that same motion as if we were doing alternating leg V-ups. So 16 reps, you are going to have rest time, okay? So. You're probably going to have 15, 20 seconds. So that gives you time to get to your rope, right? Minute number three comes and we're going to have that choice where we can either go single unders for a minute, as many as we can do there, or we can, we can do as many double unders as we can possibly can in that minute, okay? So remember, relax the shoulders, try to keep breathing. You don't want to gas out in that first 10 seconds. A minute it's a long time when you're doing double unders so that's it minute number four break down the number of reps you did when you were skipping grab your cold drink then we go back and we reset there is a high cardio portion and that's the skipping the rest of this is gonna be a good posterior chain and core workout have fun with it